Hello guys, in this video we will be studying about the alternative pathway of the complement system. But before watching this video, I would strongly recommend you all to watch my previous video on the complement system and the classical pathway. So the alternative pathway is antibody independent complement pathway. That means unlike the classical pathway, we don't need antigen antibody complex to activate C1 complex and then the pathway starts. Here, the C3 complement protein is spontaneously activated. So components which are involved in the alternative pathway are of course the complement protein, but except for C1, C2, C4, then we have components like factor B, factor D and propadine protein. Factor D is responsible for the cleavage of factor B. Factor B is activator of fluid phase C3 convertase and propadine protein, it helps in attacking C3B molecule towards the cell membrane of pathogen. As I told you, C3 is spontaneously converted or cleaved into C3A and C3B. C3B being the activated part, then the pathway will continue. But now you will think, if this is spontaneously activated and we don't need any antigen antibody complex, that means this pathway can affect the healthy cells also. But the case is, in healthy cell, we have something called inhibitory protein. So when the C3 is cleaved into A and C3B, the C3B, the activated part, it will be inhibited by the inhibitory protein. But in pathogens like bacteria, we don't have these inhibitory protein, membrane protein, so the pathway will continue. So the C3 will be spontaneously hydrolyzed and it will form C3H2O and factor B will be cleaved in presence of factor D into BA and BB. Now this hydrolyzed C3 and the BB part which is the activated form as I told you in previous video except for C2 complement protein always the B part is larger and active and A part is smaller and inactive. So here the activated part which is BB will combine with hydrolyzed C3 and they will form fluid phase C3 convertase. Now, as the name suggests, it will be cleaving C3. So, in presence of fluid phase C3 convertase, C3 will be cleaved into C3A and C3B. Now, the C3B being the active part will combine with the activated part of factor B, which is BB. BB will combine with C3B and they will form C3BBB, which is known as C3 convertase, but this is the stable C3 convertase. Here comes the role of propadine. Propadine uh, plays a major role in stabilization of C3 convertase and C5 convertase. It is a positive regulator of complement activation that stabilizes the alternative pathway. Now, as the name suggests, C3 convertase will again cleave C3 into C3A and C3B. Then C3B will go and uh, combine with BB and will form more C3 convertase, stable ones. Now, the C3 convertase will combine with C3B and form the C5 convertase, which is C3B, BB, 3B. And this is known as C5 convertase. As the name suggests, the C5 convertase will be cleaving C5. C5 will be cleaved into C5A and C5B. Now the C5B will combine with C6, C7, C8 and C9, forming C5B6789. This is known as MAC, which is the membrane attacking complex. Now, what the membrane attacking complex do? It forms the pore in the target cell membrane and hence all the content will be leaked out, leading to the cell lysis. Here I want to tell you one clinical correlation. So as I told you, propadine is responsible for stabilizing the C3 convertase and C5 convertase. So in any patient who has deficiency of propadine uh, protein, they will have absent function of the alternative pathway. I hope the alternative pathway is clear to you. Thank you so much.